Hey, it's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. I'm here going to give you a quick tour over Windows 7 running on my MacBook Pro. Now this is just the beta of Windows 7. Microsoft just released the beta not too long ago. Um, so I'm running the beta via, um, via VMware Fusion 2.0, which is the virtualization software which allows me to run a virtual machine of pretty much any operating system out there. Um, so I have that running in uh, VMware Fusion 2.0 and I just set it up like I will be setting up a Vista uh, virtual machine and recognize it no problem because uh, that's one of the good things about Windows 7 is going to be backward compatible with you know sh all the programs that work with Vista all the drivers that work with Vista so uh, Windows 7 they said is going to be backwards compatible with all that so that's another uh, good thumbs up there so you won't have to worry about the same problem everybody has switching from XP to Vista with the drivers not working so that's good uh, but anyway I'm going over just some basic things here uh, you probably already seen but I'm showing you in some just real time here and show how it is on my Mac. Now this is a virtual machine now. I'm just running, I'm sharing my system resources with Mac OS 10 Leopard. So I just have one gig of RAM dedicated to uh, Windows 7. I have just one core processor dedicated to it. So this is not even running it on very, you know, good hardware as far as like all my resources dedicated to it. So, but it still runs pretty smooth as you can see. Um, but you see here I got, first I'm going to go to the start menu. I like how it glows there now. Um, looks the same, just like Vista. Nothing really changed except for no bloatware on here, uh, like you would if you was behind a new computer. But that's good. Um, now the search, they definitely said they rewritten the the code for the search to make it a lot better. So let's type in Firefox, and so you see, it works pretty fast there. It works pretty fast, pretty responsive. It found what I was looking for, you know, very rapidly. So I like that. Um, now the taskbar is part of the biggest the biggest change that they changed in the UI for Windows 7. Um, so now they really focus in on just pinning these icons to your taskbar and um, so you can see exactly what programs they are. Nice, you know, kind of big and bold. And a little bit better than having those little small rectangular things all building up there. Um, I think you can turn that on back on if you wanted to, if you don't like this. So I think they give you the option. But I like this format of it. Uh, so you see here I got all my favorite um, internet browsers here. Pretty much got all the popular one there. Uh, I have Windows Media Player here in my, my documents folder. Now let me open up two windows here of Internet Explorer so I can show you something. All right, so I got two windows opened up with the same program, and so you can see here, I kind of kind of got like another tab here next to my Internet Explorer icon, so that just let me know I got two windows open. And also, if I just scroll over here, you can see it pops up and let me know, you know, what exactly what web page those two windows are on. Now, if I was running Windows 7, not in a virtual machine, but you just natively on my computer, I'll be able to use Windows Arrow, um, Arrow, Arrow, don't mean how to pronounce it, but um, that's the enhanced visual looks that you they first started doing in Vista, you know, have the transparency in your your Windows taskbars or your Windows bars, and um, it's just a lot of cool effects, but if I had that rolled on here, it definitely would turn these into like two preview buttons right so you can actually see the website just like a little preview box um, it would have turned into that so I can actually see what it is before actually switching to it instead of just seeing the the name of the website so um, if you did if I did run this up if I was running as a dedicated machine you'll see that so it looks a little pretty a little fancier um, but anyway I have these two windows open here now I'm show you how to how when Microsoft kind of helping us manage our desktops a little bit more manage our workspace so I got two windows here, but the problem is I can only see you know one window at a time. Actually, work on one window at a time. So now what I want to do is I want to get some even space for these two uh, windows here. Just drag this one all the way to the right hand side, and you see this little blue transparency things come up. And so that let me know that when I let it go, boom, it's going to be centered to the right hand side. And then I do the same thing for this one, boom. And now I have both my windows sharing equal real estate on my screen, so I can kind of. So I can work back and forth with them if I need to. And this is definitely good if you're working and editing some text documents or you're plagiarizing some text documents. You can see both of them at the same time and do that pretty quickly. Uh, so let me close one of these and then say I want to I move this from the side here. It just gets back to the way I had it. If I want to make this full screen, just take it all the way to the top, let it go. Now it's going to be full screen. Um, so it's pretty cool, pretty neat. And uh, I like that a lot. Definitely it's a lot easier than you know doing some manual labor to do those features but so I kinda like that that functionality of it. Um they got a dedicated um show your show your desktop button down here in the bottom right hand corner of the taskbar. So I can just press that button and any open windows will go away or come back depending on how you use it. 
Um, and everything else is pretty much the basics. I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, but just just a quick little preview or a demo of how Windows 7 actually runs. And this is just a beta, but it's already near, you know, to me, it's near production quality already. Uh, I know it's definitely a few things they're going to need to tweak, but I mean, everything runs pretty, pretty smooth right now. Uh, so definitely, if you haven't gotten it yet, and if you're not of the 2.5 million people who haven't already got their copies, definitely go try it out. Just download it so you can have it and get the uh, activation key. And so you can put this on any computer. You can do boot on any computer and see what Windows 7 is all about. Uh, but all right, it's been Soldier Knows Best here. If you have or watched me for the first time here, make sure you do check out my channel. If you like these videos going over to Tech, you'll definitely like a lot of the videos that you see on my channel. And if you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to it. Um, and I'll end it here. Signing off on Windows 7 on my MacBook Pro. I'll catch you later. Peace.